Seems like a good moment to talk. Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold. Karlak's all fire and fury. I pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Not to mention a few bumps and prongs in unmentionable places. But I haven't seen my reflection just yet. Be my mirror. What do you see? <laughs> I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. I'll accept the flattery either way. I suppose I'll grow used to the new me. Horns and all. The people will see a curiosity, maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters, keep them safe, and one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. A possibility that's kept me awake countless nights. But I don't have a clue where to start, other than play her games and play by the rules. That's the only language devils listen to. She could kill me for one, and that's not the worst of it. My contract is very clear. I can bring Mazora no harm. She'll have to let me out of my pact willingly. The only way out is if I can out-bargain her. We're standing here with nothing but the clothes on our backs and the worms in our heads. We can, I'm sure of it. How glad I am that you see me as more than my patron's pet. Well met. 